all of my beautiful and diverse friends out in YouTube land. Um, today's vlog is going to be a little bit short because I'm running late for work, <laughs> but I wanted to share um, with you what sparked my love of Disney. So there was this wonderful magical place I used to go when I was a little girl and it smelled like fresh linen and clean puppy dogs and sugar cookies. Literally, it smelled like that all the time. And um, it was my grandma Pat's house. And my grandmother had this garden that was larger than life. And I, I swear, I'm not even exaggerating, she had corn stalks that were as high as the sky. And I loved running through them. And I used to stuff myself with her strawberries and cherry tomatoes until I wasn't even hungry when she called me in for lunch. Um, she had a giant wooden swing out back um, that creaked just lightly. She had a miniature horse and pygmy goats and chickens and fresh eggs every morning that I was there. And um, outside it just smelled of this wonderful sweet country grass. And hmm, animals loved her and surrounded her. She had a magical home that smelled like freshness and sugar cookies. Sounds like a Disney princess to me. Anyway, <laughs> so um, every Friday night when I would spend the night at my grandmother's, which I quite often did um, when I was a little girl, my grandmother would always sit me in front of a Disney movie. That was the first time I had ever seen Disney's Robin Hood, um, Jungle Book, Sword in the Stone, Dumbo, Bambi, so many of the classics. And even as a very young person, around the age of 12 or 13, I started to realize that my favorite um, classic Disney films were directed by uh, one of Walt's nine old men. His name was Wolfgang Reitherman. And his son, Bruce Reitherman, and one other did voices for like Mowgli and Jungle Book and Arthur and Sword in the Stone. And I just became enthralled and entranced in this world of Disney. I would always have this beautifully silken smooth bowl. It was um, like a seafoam green and white at the top. And my grandmother would fill it to the rim with country fresh vanilla ice cream and slather it in magic shell. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it was my favorite thing in the whole world. And she would put me in front of the TV with a warm and soft blanket and put on one of my Disney movies. And those are the greatest memories I have. And um, my grandmother, my grandmother was the type of person that she loved everyone. Her um, holiday table got longer and longer every single year. And she was the greatest woman I ever knew. Um, I lost her in May of 2003. She had Parkinson's disease. Um, so even magic princesses can get sick. Anyway, um, she was the most unconditionally loving person I've ever met. And I want to make another vlog um, that leads up to something that happened when I was leaving my ex-husband um, in the latter months of the marriage, like like right before I left, I, I created this world within my mind and I would escape. I would go there every night. I would literally say to myself, okay, I'm gonna leave for the night and I'm gonna go to my cottage in the meadow. And there is this warm, caring, incredible woman named Mama Miriam that I created. Um, and she took care of me. And I will tell you all about that in a vlog. I would actually like to write a book about Mama Miriam. But little did I know and didn't realize till quite a bit later that all of the qualities that are held by Mama Miriam were Grandma Pat. Um, so I'm just wondering, did you have anyone special and magical in your life when you were a kid? Because there's, she was untouchable and incredible and she smelled wonderful and she was wonderful and there's just, no one's ever held a candle to her since. So those Friday nights watching Disney movies and then further educating myself in Disney and losing myself in Disney when I was having a hard time. Um, I didn't always get along with my parents. My dad was very strict. Um, he was a Marine 
in Vietnam and then um, went on to be a business owner. And although he was very successful, he was also very hard to get along with. Um, and my grandmother was always there with open arms. So Disney is my most saturated memory of happiness and kindness and love and sweet ice cream and clean, warm puppy dogs um, that I've ever had. And it stayed with me my whole life. So leave in the comments below if you had anybody magical in your life or what your favorite memory of Disney is because that's mine. And that's why I love it so much. Anyway, sorry, I have to go, I have to work, um, but I love you guys, and um, tomorrow I will be doing another vlog. So until then, flip flops and lollipops. Bye.